result of a skyrocketing divorce rate and many individuals delaying marriage well into their 30s, step parenting is becoming increasingly common. Dr. Elaine Ducharme is a clinical psychologist from Glastonbury, Connecticut, and she joins us with step parenting advice. Dr. Ducharme, always nice to have you here. Thank you. Nice to be back. Uh, the statistics are alarming. 50% of marriages fail. Yeah, that really is incredible. Mm -hmm. And that's first marriages. Okay, if we go to second marriages, we're up at about the, you know, 70, 80%. And when we move beyond that, you have a really high rate of the marriage is probably not going to last. We're up in the 90%, 90th percentile. So those are really alarming. And as a result, when we have that many marriages failing, we have a lot of people remarrying mm -hmm. with children. And step parenting is a wonderful but very, very challenging. You see a lot of movies life. about it. You know, yes, if you're not you a step parent, you can understand it's definitely not an easy thing. So you have three essential concepts that's, that you suggest step parents must accept and utilize time, commitment, and teamwork. Absolutely. First of all, I see way too many families, they get married and they, they think they're going to be the Brady Bunch. For those of your audience who remember the Brady Bunch. Okay. <laughs> I remember you the Brady remember? Bunch, yeah. So, and, you know, that just doesn't happen. We don't suddenly have these families blending and everybody's so happy. It takes time and, and it's really that piece of I'm w willing to make a commitment to time and I'm willing to recognize that, you know, maybe the first few years are going to be rough, not the first few weeks. Mm -hmm. And then that, you know, making that commitment and then teamwork, working with your new spouse to say, how are we going to do this? And then including the kids, because just because you married somebody new and you are madly in love with this person, it doesn't mean the kids feel even closely uh, any of those feelings, you know, at all. So it's really a matter of saying, we're all making a commitment as a family, we're going to work as a team, and we're going to talk about a lot of these things. And as we go along, it's a work in progress. And of course, it's easier said than done. There aren't just these three basic concepts that'll, no. that'll magically make it work. So you have some great basic guidelines that will help some step parents get through it. So where do we begin with the, the guidelines? Right. Well, Richard? I think the first thing is really recognizing that it's got to be the biologic parent that makes the rules and sets the rules. And just commenting briefly on that, two families coming together may have had very different rules. And so if only one set of kids is required to clear their table and you know, clear the plates, it makes it confusing and difficult. So yes. you as parents have to sit down and figure out what are the rules that we're going to try and enforce that are joint that we can do for all the kids. But there may be some things that my kids aren't going to have to do right away because or your kids aren't going to have to do right away because we have to we have to take it slowly and that's really one of the big ones when when you as the step parents start disciplining and setting new rules you've lost the battle yeah you that really makes have. sense and of course respect comes into play then too absolutely you want to respect where they came from you want to respect that their world was fine for them and they didn't ask to have it changed mm -hmm. and so if you start trying to make all those changes they feel that as a complete disrespect to them. Yes, and step parents also need to be realistic about the way they're feeling, their, yeah. what they're feeling. You know, I see parents say to me, oh, I just love my new stepchildren. Well, no, probably not. You know, you may like them a lot, but um, how do you develop love? And I'll have parents say, well, I love all the children exactly the same. And then kids will say to me, how can he love these two kids that he just met? And, I, you know, I've been his daughter for 12 years. So I think we, we say things that we think kids would want to hear, but we need to be authentic and recognize that love does not happen overnight. It takes time and it takes experiences. And that's really one of the huge ones for step parenting. That makes perfect sense, absolutely. It really absolutely. does. And to be able to say that to your new kids, to say, you know what, I'm not sure how I feel about you these days, or, you know, it's a little bit hard, and I'm sure I don't expect you to love me right away either. I want you to learn to maybe at least treat me pr appropriately, and maybe you'll uh, respect me and learn to love me. So it sounds like open communication is really huge, important. Huge, huge. You know, having family meetings, sitting down at dinners, you know, so many families are running around to play soccer and whatever at dinner time now. Having family meals is a great time to be able to talk about these things mm -hmm. and say, how is this working? You know, what are you kids feeling? What are you upset about? what's going well. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And it's also important to remember that you don't undermine relationships. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen parents telling me things about the other parent and, you know, the parent that's not in the house. Right. Or they'll just say it in front of the kids. And I, I have stepchildren, so I've lived through a lot of this. And I know I was talking to one of our kids one time, 
and you know asking them what what is it that bothers you mm -hmm. that idea that a parent would ever say anything negative about their other parent it's just a really it's a big turnoff and an insult and you must remember that child is 50 percent of each of their biologic parents right. and if you insult that parent you're insulting the kid yeah so yeah. just being an adult too just exactly. the maturity of course exactly. and obviously all step parents know what they're getting into well, most of them or don't. They know. should know, and they <laughs> often don't. So yes. you should, you know, before you rush into something, figure out, is this person, were they ever involved in their kid's parenting? Were they, do they have two ex-wives that are really mean and horrible and call all the time? Um, what is it that they're like? What are the expectations? What's their family like? Know what you're getting into, because step parenting is that much more difficult than, than parenting. And you as a parent know, it's not, parenting is a, the hardest job any of us Definitely. will ever have. Yeah. And what about adding a new baby? Baby into the mix. Oh wow! So often people will think, "Wow, this is a great idea." You know, we'll have a baby, and it's ours, and it'll be a sister or brother to all of our kids. You know, this whole step parenting thing and remarriage—it's complicated enough. So my advice is, whenever possible, wait. Let everybody adjust for a while because the new baby then takes center stage. But you're exhausted, you're working on parenting, and now you have to figure out how to deal with a new baby in the house. And clearly having a new baby in the house adds a lot of stress. Right. Now we're going to breeze through these last tips, sure. uh, Dr. Ducharme. Last, uh, one of the last ones, be patient, of course. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then also try to spend private time with the, your stepchildren and your biologic children. Exactly, separately. really important. Mm -hmm. And try maybe that you and your spouse can take time with each set of kids alone, because it allows them to know that we didn't have to become blended and that's it, and we, we lose all of our autonomy right, right. away. So important. Yeah. And lastly, just establish new family traditions. Wonderful idea, because it really helps people say, okay, I can take my time, I can have some of my old traditions, bring those in, and over time you're going to develop new family traditions, which make life a lot of fun. Well, these are wonderful tips, Dr. Ducharme. It's great Thank to you. have you here. I'm sure everyone finds them very beneficial, so thanks for being thanks. here. Thanks. It's a pleasure being back.